Is there another way up here? Oh shit, there is! Oh, that's not good. Okay. Time to run. That looks too far away. I gotta time this a little bit better. There we go. Didn't quite get those two. Oh, <laughs> this is not good. This is so not good. Welcome back, everybody, to Raven Earth. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go hit uh, our next Tier 4 quest. And uh, so let's look at that really quick. This is a Tier 4 clear. It's RH, uh, Ravenhurst Z High by Volar. Um, so, yeah, we're, uh, that's just right uh, across the, the way there, really close to the house. Uh, I wanted to show you, though, that I got a lot of good food cooking up here. So I harvested uh, the garden, and I'm still currently waiting for the um uh the irrigation pump n n that i have sitting next to the well to fill up if, if it does at all <clears throat> um if it hasn't filled up by tomorrow morning in game tomorrow morning then i'm gonna say it doesn't work and <clears throat> we're gonna have to set up a garden over at the lake so i'm just still waiting on that but i did harvest the produce that was in the garden at the time had a bunch of meat that i you know just accumulated and we've got some good food in here you guys we've got blueberry pies bowl of fruit 10 red meat stew. We got 18 steak and potato meals. In fact, we're going to take that with us. Um, what? Oh, and we got three gumbos too, but I'm going to, I'm going to keep stay, save the gumbo for mining because it gives a 40, uh, maximum stamina bonus of 40, which is fantastic. So we'll save that stuff. 112 food with this stuff too. I mean, it's just really, really good. And then, uh, let's see, what are we doing? We're working on, um, these, finishing these stews, and I'm going to have these waters cook up, and I think I can make a few more meat stews uh, when that's done, too. Okay, so we're good to go there. Let's see, we've got uh, mineral water. Uh, we're not going to need to take uh, blackstrap coffee with us uh, for, you know, to raid the POI. I am going to bring, uh, I don't think I'm going to bring my nerdy glasses either, but I, well, I'm going to bring them, but I'm going to keep them in the bike. Um, we're going to just wear the Lucky Looters uh, well, actually, we should probably wear the fort glasses because it gives us level 5 um, in, uh, what's going call it? Let's take a look at that. Level 5 in pain tolerance. If I take the glasses off, then I only get level 4. So I think we'll keep those on, but we'll put the luckies on if we're about to loot something. Um, so we have healing factor um, 3. And so, yeah, we're pretty tough now, uh, all things considered. Let's see, what's our armor rating? Armor rating is 79. That's not bad at all. That's actually pretty darn, darn good. So uh, we're we're in pretty good shape uh, with that. I've got extra ammo with me. I've got one gun repair kit because our shotgun's getting kind of low. The rest of our guns are in pretty good shape. And our um, I had to switch back uh, to my best iron sledgehammer because my steel, my green steel sledgehammer, was just um, you know ready to break. The good news, though, is that means we could put the weighted head mod and the burning shaft mod back on. Um, so, you know, we get that benefit. I got two stacks of pipe bombs, too. A little bit of wood and some frames if we have to block doorways. And I think we're ready to rock and roll. Let's take a look at our batteries here. Yeah, so this one's completely depleted, but we got lots more power here. Once, you know, this last one starts to go down, I'll turn the generator on and it will recharge the batteries for us. Okay, so I think we're good to go. Um, oh, we got a screamer. Uh, I'm, I'm running these forges like just non-stop, but uh, once again, the spikes are just doing an amazing job of, um, you know, keeping them and all the other zombies for that matter at bay. And I only have to repair them like every other day or so. And it seems to be working good. Um, I'm making a metric crap ton of forged iron because each one of the irrigation pipes takes 50 forged iron that's extremely expensive it's unbelievably expensive so um yeah i'm working on those so we're going to need you know two three maybe even up to four thousand pipes in order to do everything that i th i think i want to do so yeah i'm just cranking out um the uh the forged iron I, I i have less than a stack of forged steel but that's okay for now i'm really low on concrete uh, we have that much concrete but again i'm not too worried about that when See, the next Horde Knight's on 119, so probably somewhere around 118-ish we'll have to get back focused on getting some more concrete and get and keep working on the Horde base. But right now, I just want to go out and uh, do some raiding because, man, I've just been doing nothing but working on that Horde base for many, many in-game days and then spent the last few days here at the base 
palletizing stone and everything else and it's time to go have some fun and hopefully find some good oh shit good loot goodness gracious that's a lot of dogs that also could be a lot of meat for us though too um those little armored bastards are really hard to kill let's see if we can take some of these guys out because yeah that's that's a lot of good meat right there There we go. That's a nice little collection of meat for our table. Let's just drop this off and then we'll continue on. All right, here's the high school. Um, I actually wrenched uh, a bunch of cars here um, a few days ago. So when we start the quest, the cars should spawn back in and then we can wrench them again. Let's get rid of this dude. Another nice thing about the iron sledge is it uses a little less stamina than the steel one does, so, you know, silver linings and all that. That steel sledgehammer, though, especially when I first got it, I think it was a purple or something. Man, that thing packs a punch. All right, let's get this guy out of here, too. Little Ronnie McDonnie action. We keep doing this, and pretty soon we'll be able to start one-shotting the Zeeks, but we just don't have a lot of skill in it yet. <laughs> there we go, off of his head. Love it. What is our skill in this? Let's take a look. Um, it is here. We're looking at rifle weapons. One. We have one point. <laughs> Only 99 to go. Oh, man. That's Ravenhurst for you. Okay, well, this is a clear, and so let's do it. I've never been in this POI. Good. All the Oh, shit. All the vehicles um, repopped, which is great. I'm not going to loot them right now, um, but I can, you know, come back and hit them later. And, and just like before, you know, I imagine this is going to take us a while, so I'm not going to do a lot of major looting. Uh, we're going to clear, and then we can come back and do the looting later, except for, you know, really valuable stuff we'll probably hit. Okay, so I don't even know which direction I'm supposed to go. Um, I guess, do we go up here, or what's the plan here? Guess we're gonna figure it out, aren't we? All right, let's shoot Darlene in the butt since we can't get to her head. Now we can. She's not even dead yet. Now she's dead. Okay. What is our pistol skill? Let's look at that. Uh, pistol weapons, 11. Okay, well, we got a few points in that anyway. Um, okay, so I don't see a light guiding us to where we need to go. So I guess we'll go up here to start with. Look at all those red dots. Oh, my goodness. Well, we came loaded for bear, man. We've got lots of 7.62 rounds, so if we have to unload, we unload. It's like they're all in this room on the floor, probably. Oh my god, that's a lot of red dots. <laughs> See, the thing that's kind of tricky about this place is there's not any... I don't have a lot of good options for holding up in a door. Chances are, though, the Zeeks will come to the door instead of break out the window to get to us. So what we could maybe do is use some explosives i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to set that down there oh shit i didn't bring anything to upgrade with oh no man uh let me go look in the bike because i mean we can't leave the property now we started the quest i don't remember if i put my nail gun in here or not let's hope that i did you know but you know what i think we can use this it doesn't it's not as fast as the nail gun here we should have those with us too uh, let's also carry the luckies and maybe this if we get in bad shape uh, i know in vanilla you can use the 
the ratchet um, here to. She just went the other way. Uh, to repair stuff, it just it takes longer than the nail gun is all. So let's see if this will work for us here. Probably gonna make a shit ton of noise. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Nope, it doesn't work. Shit. Well, okay, I guess um, we're not going to have the benefit of upgraded barricades. Things just got decidedly more difficult. All right, well, let's see if we can deal with this Marlene here first. Yeah, she's dead. Now, we woke some Zombos up, but not necessarily all. Let's just get this thing ready. Are they not like all in this room? I guess they're not. Oh, look at you. Okay. All right, well, let's just um, kind of chill up here a bit and see. Okay, we've got a Darlene. I mean, as long as they're not, like, a whole bunch of runners, we'll be okay. What's around this side? All right. Let's take her out. So we just got a few groups in each one of these rooms. Interestingly enough, it seems like the ones in the room that was closest to us are not awake. The ones further away are, so go figure. We'll just have to watch that some stuff doesn't come out behind us. Okay, let's check this. I should have put the luckies on first, but it's a little bit intense right now, so we're just gonna we're gonna play it safe here. We're not in a hurry. Of course, we don't really want to do this at night, but we kind of started the quest late, so we don't have a choice on that on that front. Okay, these guys are going to break out first. Where is all the big mamas coming from? All right. Neither one of these are feral, so... I'm not too terribly concerned about them. Whoa, big mama. Nice jump there. Okay. No more sleepers in there. All right. Well, let's help these guys along then. Ammo pile. No more sleepies in here. Oh shit. Dude. You scared me. Okay. So now I only see two dots. Let's just go in here. You're still down here? Okay, she did. Guess there aren't any sleepers in here. Okay, so let's look at something here. We could hole up in this room because they can't get to us from there at nighttime. I just want to have a fallback place. Um, and we could. Nah, we can't really do the same in here because they could come through that window. Okay, let's switch to these really quick. And we'll just do some quick looting here. Uh, I am a bit concerned about it becoming nighttime. 
I should probably not have started this quest so late in the day. And I should have brought something with me to repair with. Or upgrade with, I should say. And I didn't, so there you go. There you go. So now we just made things harder on ourselves than they needed to be. That... Yeah, I think we'll sell that. There's lots of gut piles here we could come back for later, but that's certainly not something I want to mess with right now. Okay, let's check this bookshelf. By the way, I think I mentioned this before, but I'm actually going to scrap these from now on uh, for the blueprints, because once we eventually find the research station, assuming we will, we'll be able to start making our own blueprints. That's some pretty nice stuff, particularly the ergonomic mod. Okay, that's it. I'm not going to check anything else uh, for now. Okay, so we got this building here clear, and we can come back and use this room as a fallback if we really get in trouble, um, or at least a choke point. Okay, so let's head on down here. Bathroom, girls and boys, nurse's office. Okay, these guys are just wandering Zeeks. There we go. We got a point and pistols. Look at that. Okay, so it looks like we got quite a few Zika Ruskies in here. Um, let's see if we can do some sniping through the window. Oh, well, he's feral. All right. We don't have any rifle skill, but we have a very powerful sniper rifle, so it kind of compensates a little bit for for that. I doubt we killed... Did we kill him? I think we did. Okay. Fine by me. We got a cowboy bob there. I don't know. Can we shoot him through here? Oh, we sure can. Look at that. We're kind of that, you know, to the point where we can two-shot normal Zeeks anyways. All right, are you feral? Yeah, you are. You're not. So you're the biggest threat. we got to deal with you first, and you've been dealt with. Oh, you're pissed. He's going to burn to death here in a second. You got one more tag off on us, though. Oh, uh, you're feral. Alright, I'm out of stamina, so we're going to have to get the shoddy out. Guess we never really did anything in the bottom floor of this... Oh, shit! Of this first building. I have to say, it's nice to have maximum pain tolerance. It does make a difference. It really, really does. This is the cafeteria. What the hell is that? Hopefully a mummy and not a cop. Actually, cops are easier to kill than mummies are. What are you doing, dummy? Off with your arm. Let's take your legs off, too. <laughs> Come on, stamina. Alright, what you got, Ming? Ravioli, nice. Uh, we need to get these back on. Alright, let's get rid of you. Is he... Where's that mummy at? Oh shit, he's right there. Alright, you did. Let's get rid of you guys.
Hold that head still. Oh shit. I'm using slugs, not shots, so you gotta hold still so I can hit you. Good lord. How many shots did it take to kill that guy? Uh, oh shit. No, 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 no. You know what we need to do is we need to have these down here if we actually want to use them. Kind of funny how that works, right? I thought the puker guy was going to keep walking. Okay, that one will get him. There we go. He did. Off with your head. It's 2114. Smashing heads. All right, let's go back around this way. And, um, let's see, where, where did we come through at? It's so hard to see the glass with my settings. Oh, I think it was right here. Okay. Did this room get completely clear? We have a, a beverage thing, but th again, that stuff we can loot later. Uh, that's a, that's a satchel, but this isn't a fetch quest. Football players... Okay, let's go back out here. I didn't, uh, we didn't actually clear this ground floor. We just cleared the top floor, so uh, let's go in here. I think maybe we already aggroed everybody, though. All right, let's check the bookshelf. We're going to switch back to these for a moment. Oh, you know what? We need to eat, too, so let's have ourselves some steak and potato meal. Yes, indeed. And we'll have some mineral water as well. We're going to throw out a couple things we just absolutely don't need to be carrying around with us right now. Um, should put that uh, wood back in the bike since it's worthless to us without an upgrade. Okay, scrap those for blueprint points. Nothing in there. 2137. It's getting close. All right, uh, satchel there, too. Okay, so we've we basically cleared this entire uh, wing or building in the compound thing. Thingamadoodle. Okay, so this is not helping us. We don't need that. We don't need that or that. Uh, let's get these back on. And, yeah, I think we want to keep everything else. Uh, we don't need the... Buckshot shells. Okay, so we're going to have to really play this careful moving forward now because it's getting dark and everything's going to run. What is this? Is this concrete? No, that's just wood. Okay, so one thing we could do is we could make ourselves like a little... So if we have to retreat, what we can do is jump up here and have a place to retreat, but we're going to also have to quickly secure this other area on this side. What is this? Yeah, that's just wood. Okay, we'll put one frame there, so if we have to run up this way, we can get the frame and then pull it up behind us. Now, if we get a bunch of Zeeks, they can climb up on each other's shoulders to get up here, but if it's just one, you know, one, anyway, we'll be good. If it's a bunch... Well, we'll probably be blowing them up. All right, we got this. We got this. Oh, Lord, please help us get this. <laughs> All right, we're getting rid of that stuff. Don't need it. Not important. Let's proceed. Um, so we're going to jump down here. Uh, let's make sure everybody's loaded. Okay. There was a football player. Yeah, he's right there. Okay. Let's see if we can pull him separate from everybody else, and we'll just melee him down. Soften him up a little bit with some nines. Oh, shit. 
Oh man, that is a lot of red dots. Okay, back up here. Let's just um, let's actually do um, no. Let's do this. Make it so they can't just easily jump up here. Um. All right, what are you guys gonna do? Is there another way up here? Oh shit, there is! Oh, that's not good. Okay. Time to run. That one's too far away. I'm gonna time this a little bit better. Alright, run back this way. There we go. Didn't quite get those two. Oh, <laughs> this is not good. This is so not good. Oh, we got him. Nice. Right. Okay, let's get this out. We really riled up the hornet's nest, didn't we? Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't turn around and see what was happening because, well, you know, I was running and stuff. We've got an abrasion, um, so we better take one of these. Oh, look, it's look, it's coming. Ooh. Will you die, please, girl? Okay. All right, he's an outsider. Okay, let's make sure everybody's loaded here. Oh, shit. What were you waiting for, infected deputy? Christmas? Okay, let's get a little bit of stam back. Got a night runner over there, walker, whatever the hell he is. And here he comes. Come on, buddy. Oh, we grazed him. All right, we got a greenie. Damn it. Sledgehammer weapon skill has increased. Nice. He did? He did. Okay, let's pop um these and see what's in here really quick. And then we got another loot bag over there. Uh okay. We'll probably just repair that and sell it, because we're using aluminum picks now. Alright, let's be quiet here. We still got new Zeeks over here that haven't woken up yet. Um, yeah, that's a lot of cash. I'm not going to take the brass, though. I don't need this either. I think I'm going to save the health bar because that's going to wear off pretty quickly. Uh, so we don't really need to worry about it. Okay. Make sure everybody's loaded. All right, let's go back this way. So I want to figure out how they all got up here. Here, have some, have some bleeding with your fire. Son of a bitch. Get out of here. Ah, oh, stamina. Now we're infected and we have a sprain something or other. All right, we will take care of both of those. Well, I guess we can't use this on a sprain. Yeah. Uh, oh, can we? I don't know. I'm going to take this now because... That's going to affect our ability to swing our our sledgehammer and all that other stuff, right? Here, let's put the ravioli in here, too. Oh, goodness. Okay, so I want to figure out how those guys got up there. 
It looks like they ran in to here. How the hell did they get up there? Oh, I left the block down. Duh. <laughs> that wasn't smart. Okay, now at least we figured it out. I'm going to have to set the block down myself before I go up there. Oh my goodness, can't believe it. Okay. All right, let's see if we can pull a few more without pulling all of them. All right, took out her. Got another football player right there. Dude, go down. You're so freaking squirrely, man. Okay. Try not to swing my sledgehammer too much until my sprain wears off because otherwise it's just going to get worse again. Did we already look in here? Yeah, we did. Okay. Continuing along here. 